Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Sif, the Shield Maiden of Skyrim. And, uh, well, in our last episode, things were kind of lackluster. I mean, we fought a giant, um, but that was about it. Uh, it was just mostly, uh, <laughs> inventory management and whatnot. But now we are in solitude, and we are ready to, um, undertake some quests in the Bard's College. Hello, Welcome yes. to the Bard's I'm College. I'm the headmaster here. Word. How may I help you? Quiet time. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. Uh, not much. But as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is... distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. I wish you luck in finding the verse. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. Hmm. Good to meet a prospective bard. He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. That's good. We shouldn't leave it lying around now that I've figured out where it is. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time. And a very ancient one. The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Hmm. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, that I did, but I don't need it. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's verse in Dead Man's Respite. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see... Uh, you're just a normal bard, I think. It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Hmm. <laughs> if you ask me, this damned rebellion can't end soon enough. I had to end my tour of Skyrim's courts. Too dangerous to travel. Let's see. Remember, 
Being a bard isn't just about the music. Nope, it's about the history. Pardon me, but I trust you've been working on your poem on the classical heroes of Skyrim, yes? I'm sure it will be fine. Just don't be late. Talk to her. Uh. I'm Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. <laughs> what? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did. There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth. But I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Glad that distraction's over. Well, aren't you a peach? Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. Man, you guys are f arrogant. I can't understand why Yorn would want to join the Youngest bard Legion. at the Bard's College. Soldiers only service. appreciate one thing, and it isn't music. Mm. Anything I can do for you, I will. See, that was Meals are served to bards at designated times. Find an inn if you want to make requests. <laughs> you look a little sturdier than most of the poppin' jays around here. <laughs> ah, I love that guy. He's funny. And this is where all the All right. Tending the flame. All right. There we go. All right. So, dead man's respite is just south of Solitude. That's not too hard. It's actually near Morthal, so we could just take a carriage from Morthal and head right there. Easy peasy. Um, there we go. But con hmm. method to your madness, and your madness is the method and the melody. You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Yes, I help people, but I only help like one or two, maybe five at a time. I'm kind of at my quota right now. Don't worry. Well, uh, I'll be back for you. Just uh. Uh, I don't know. Count all the pebbles on the on the ground, or you know, all the cobblestones. Yeah, do that. Count every cobblestone from here to the gate. That should only take you like about fifty years. Choices, choices. I do have choices. Tools, uh... wares, and weapons, ah. all for sale at fair prices. Hey, buddy, got any potions for sale? There is much. I welcome you, friend. Place. How may I serve you? Take a look. You. 
Akuma is usually pretty good. Let's see. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I forgot it. Uh, I forgot that I did that. I made that one. <laughs> Alright, that one only increases my heavy armor. That's useless to me. Okay, you can take that. And that. Pretty good on that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. That's pretty nice. All right. May your road lead you to warm sands. Okay, doke. I don't have a lot of potions, but I have enough. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go to Morthal. Right. I just like discovering areas if I can get away with it. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rory. Uh, we will not concern ourselves with those guys, but yeah, this uh, this area right, uh, this place right here, this is uh, this is mecca for these things. They're everywhere. They're in the they're in the town. They're in the marsh just north of the town. It's everywhere. So many. Uh, there. I don't really need the armor that much, so I'd rather wear that, and I'll probably put that on now. Or, no, no, I won't be fighting anything that deals a lightning damage just yet. Eek. Man, this guy gets around. <laughs> he really does. Mike knows many things, no? Some like taking friends on adventures. Maik thinks being alone is better. Less arguing about splitting treasure. Nsh. He's not wrong. So normally when you hear the term roundabout, uh, it usually means 
more often than not that it's like a it's a dungeon that usually has um like normally the way to get in it is kind of tricky per se you know like like the quest marker itself isn't necessarily um i guess correct if you will um most of the time usually the dungeon is like uh completely encased around a mountain or something making it next to impossible to get in the way the quest marker wants you to usually you have to go in through some kind of like secret passageway or oh that's a that's an undead yep There we go. Why not, right? I'm a Nord, you idiot. Okay. Who's the schmuck? As you can see, the... Actually, yeah, I kind of want that. There we go. Uh, so if you stand near a brazier like this, you actually, uh, mm, you actually warm up. There we go. Uh, I like the boots, to be honest. She's uh, stuck in mid transformation. Okay, this wasn't too bad. I don't need that. Nope. I say there's really no point in checking the skeletons, they usually don't have anything of value per se. Yeah, I can afford to wait a little. I think they're all... I think they were all outside? 
if I'm lucky enough. <laughs> Did you step on a glyph? You dope. What the hell was that? Okay, someone... How? You cannot even conceive of the power I wield. Where are you? Ah, here's the button. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. That was easy enough. Yeah, the majority of them were outside. Ow. Woo! <laughs> I was like taking that. Mostly because every time when I do work at the forge, I prefer to, you know, it's just a role-playing thing for me. That's the only weird thing. Woo, thank you. Yeah, any necromancer worth their salt always has at least one book pertaining to the Wolf Queen, and then one book pertaining to, um... Uh, Immortal Blood. Uh, it usually talks about vampires, werewolves, that sort of thing. Mother, I like that book. Mysteries of Shea Gorath. Yep, see what I tell you. Wolf Queen. Hey, another copy of the filament. Nice. Oh, the Ethereum Wars. 
That starts a quest. There we go. That's also a book that I cannot drop now. Which is fine. So many books. I ain't complaining. <laughs> Just an ordinary flute. <laughs> the yellow book of riddles. Hey. Uh, disenchanting station. Ooh. What are we here? Hmm. Milady, we have driven the last of the bandits from Fort Snowhawk. Regretfully, the North Tower suffered some major damage in the final assault, but repairs are already underway. As you predicted, the fort should be an ideal site for our experiments. Much of it's ruined, of course, but its close proximity to the northern road should ensure us a steady supply of test subjects. We hope to have some preliminary results in the next few weeks. Hmm. For the quarters. Ew. Probably it's just an ordinary ow. Go figure, huh? Thank you. Uh... I'm still here. I'm at your command. Oh, I can drop the Ethereum Wars right now. Go figure. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Oh. That explains it. Have I checked everywhere? Let's see. Goes to Skyrim, that goes there. Yep, and then this was the way I came. It's interesting that they don't have a cooking pot. Mm. Hello.
Barred from the other side, huh? Takes me outside. That also takes me outside. Ooh. Good stuff here. Uh, let's see, so. Let's see, where does this take me? Okay, yeah, this. That's it. Yep. This just takes me directly outside. Let's see. There's the prison. Hmm. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Never should have come here. Well then. Ascendant. Huh? How did I miss? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, there's also another thing I forgot to mention about this thing. So, um, when you're tired, what are you doing? sorry, uh, potions do not. Uh, here I'll show you. It says it right here. So, beneficial potions are 20% less effective. So that's why you want, uh, that, you know, that's your incentive to sleep even when you're not a caster. Because otherwise, you are just nerfing yourself. <laughs> ah, yes, the uncommon taste. Oh my goodness.
Ooh. So this just added... So this is actually a good one to find. Because, uh, yeah, see? It adds the lover standing stone. The uh, ritual standing stone. Yeah, so just, uh, what is it? So yeah, so it, it um, every time, it, so when you read that book, it'll usually add, like, um, normally adds, like, four standing stones, um, but I'm pretty sure the ones that it normally adds, I already found, so, I think that was a ruined book. Yeah. Elven Mace. Yeah, I guess I'll take everything. We've stopped. What is it? How can I serve you, my thane? Uh, here. Take all this. Lead on, then. Okay. I think that's the same. Yeah, it's the same key. I don't need duplicates. Okay, so we're done with that. Yep, I missed this. Oh, come on. It's an apprentice. I shouldn't be having this much problem. It's this. Oh, it's another copy of that key. Man. They have a lot of copies of the same key. They really want you to find it. <laughs> Do it. I think I've explored this whole place now. Um, I guess I should probably go and check the prisons. Just to be thorough, I suppose. First, my character needs to take some shut eyes so her potions work better. Oh, yes, and of course, uh, <laughs> that also helps. Uh, I don't need that right now. Um, what do we got here? Power Bash. Quick reflexes. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. That's good stuff. Um, I probably want that. Hmm. Uh, let me see. 
No, I don't need that. I'm not going to be dual wielding. Um... Hmm, this is a hard choice, actually. Uh... Yeah, I'll probably take that. back on all right so all right let's go check that um those prison that prison area real quick and then that should clear yeah because this place isn't considered cleared out just yet Oh, nice. Okay. Well, there are ways to deal with this. There we go. Looky here. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Get over here. There we go. I think now this place is considered cleared. Oh, that leads somewhere. Hello, chest. Nice. Excuse. Huh? Iona, you're kind of in the way. Thank you. Hmm. They have a rack. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I really do like having that huh? book everywhere. Okay. That's 
pretty much it, right? Um, yep. That's all there is to that. Alright, let's go see where that path goes. And then we'll call it an episode. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Ow. Wow. Talk about Oh, wow. Man, they wanted you to get, they really wanted to kill you. <sighs> Where are we? Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. It's kind of cool. All right, um, but yeah, so that's, yep. Uh, I want to say this place is cleared out. I mean, what else is there? We went through the... I mean, they have... Do they have two separate prisons? Oh. Well then. S sucks to be him. Yeah, I came out that way, went into the prison. Guessing there's a way down from up there. Ooh! Well now! Winner, winner, chicken did. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah. Boop. Got an elf bow. Oh, uh, oops, sorry. Interesting. It's heavier though. It's worth more. Hmm. Interesting. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, I say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's, uh, I think it's probably talking about that. Yeah, down there. Okay, yeah, this place is completely cleared out. Cool. Alright, well, I guess we'll just, uh call it wraps for now and in the next episode we'll uh, actually head to where we were supposed to go but i mean come on this was this was fun this the, the, you know going in storming a necromancer's hideout come on who who doesn't love doing that uh i want to say this makes up a little bit for last uh what do you call it for the last episode um, i'm still here i am sworn to carry your burdens Here, take this bow. That should definitely uh, Lead on, then. increase your uh, efficiency. 
All right, but yeah, so in the next episode, we'll be heading up to um, Dead Man's Roundabout, and uh, yeah, we'll... Oop, sorry. There we go. All right, but yeah, we'll um, go there, get the uh, Poetic Edda we're looking for, and uh, yeah, then head back to the Bard's College and uh, take care of... Uh... That's all you got? Hmm. Weird. Anyway, um, but yeah, but at this point I'm rambling. So until next time, though, this is Mega Wizard 79 bidding you all adieu.